And finally, ladies and gentlemen, a report on the popular news site Op India has questioned the nature of Rahul Gandhi's exact visit to Cambridge. Remember, viewers, the Congress Party said he had been officially invited by the University of Cambridge to give a lecture. The University of Cambridge, as per Op India, has said we didn't invite him. The college where the event happened said we didn't invite him. Now, apparently, this is like some, you know, it's like hiring a banquet hall, hiring a dining hall, hiring an auditorium. You can hire auditoriums in many of these universities if you pay a certain amount. You can hire it, it's available. Along with that, other facilities are made available. But why did the Congress claim that the Cambridge University had invited him? And why would Rahul Gandhi go all the way? all the way, in the middle of what appears to be a nation campaign, if you call it that for the Congress, to go for a private external event, randomly, to the United Kingdom. Big mystery. Let's debate. Nupur Sharma, the editor-in-chief of Op India. Nupur. What is the point that Op India is proving here by putting out this article? What is the central point in the piece? Yeah. It's gone viral, by the so way. So interesting. I mean, it's all over. Yeah, it's been it quoted has. all over. What, what have you found out? On first, yeah, it has. Interesting. On first, uh, I think there's some echo. But um, Indian Overseas Congress posted a tweet saying that, um, you know, Rahul Gandhi ji is at Cambridge University in Congress with uh, Shruti Kapila, and they posted three pictures. Now, these three pictures were interestingly pictures from 2022. They were old pictures that they had tweeted, and then they were deleted. And we published a report on that as well. Now, Congress shared one picture, just one picture, of Rahul Gandhi at Cambridge, supposedly, where he was standing at the podium and, you know, there was an image of him apparently delivering this special lecture. Uh, there was a lot of mystery around why he went. It was interesting to see that he left thousands of people who were apparently joining his Bharat, uh, sorry, Bharat Nyaya Yatra, Indians who he hoped would vote for him, and went to address about, what, 12, 15, 20 students in Cambridge apparently on an uh, you know, official invite. Now, we emailed Christ, uh, Jesus Christ College, which was the college uh, emblem which was on the podium. And they specifically told us that Cambridge University had nothing to do with the event. They did not finance the event. They did not uh, invite Mr. Rahul Gandhi. This was a commercial event, which essentially means that this hall was... Uh, hired probably by Congress and Rahul Gandhi went there to address maybe 20, 25 students. Now, the question is, A, why was the impression given by Mr. J. R. Ramesh that it was an official, um, you know, invite to Cambridge, his alma mater? Second, why did Indian Overseas Congress feel the need to publish these pictures, three pictures, claiming that that's Rahul Gandhi in Cambridge right now, today, when these images were actually from 2022 and then deleted? So clearly they were trying to justify this, you know, visit Cambridge to London. The question is that Congress has claimed that Rahul Gandhi is this, you know, um, national justice delivering figure and he's a politician who will bring justice to people and that thousands and thousands of people are joining his Nyaya Yatra. Why did he feel the need to leave Indians who he was connecting with, thousands of them apparently, lakhs of them on a regular basis, to deliver justice to them, run away to London, run away to Cambridge on a commercial event where supposedly it was Congress themselves who hired the hall. So he you know, address 20 students who have nothing to do with Indian politics. Why does Congress how do, how, how do we say that the Congress hired the hall? Visit fraud. 
and there's nothing wrong with hiring a hall to address students why not just be upfront about it was this event a front for some other activity yeah, but if you meeting, if you want to hire a hall was he meeting the labor party like he was no, if you want to you hire know, a hall in previous years oh so so the point here is this and it's a very serious point the cover yeah. that was given lokesh was that the university of cambridge right and in the united kingdom and globally the university of cambridge and the university of oxford even more than cambridge are very very reputed okay. institutions it was said that the university of cambridge has invited rahul gandhi to give a series of lectures and therefore rahul gandhi has had to stop this luxury bus yatra immediately fly off because the university of cambridge has invited him for a university event but the investigation by op india it comes out that the, the university has nothing to do with the event not just that the specific college where the hall was hired has nothing to do with the event jesus college has written back saying we have nothing to do with this event but the congress party said it was a university event and that's why rahul gandhi had to go but the but the and university you know, or the college in the university has nothing to do with the event to justify the trip now can and, i answer even if i were to say that to was call. a technical error my question is my question is a uh, lokesh it's very deeply embarrassing for you guys no i'm so random not. event no 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 why so why if it's is not it a university to, event why is it wrong to reach out to the indian diaspora then why was it positioned as a university view? event and no it's not no, no, no. diaspora it's not no, no, then no, 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 why not be honest no, 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 about no. it and why do we feel the thing. need to reach out to 20 diaspora thing. students leaving no, lakhs and lakhs of people who can are joining can i please put my views madam may i no, please no no if the, the lokesh view? lokesh my question no, to you is if you want to address the indian diaspora one minute one minute if you want to ad, 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 uh, address the indian diaspora right more than uh, do your campaign in india a few weeks before the elections a few days before the elections that's a very interesting approach however having said that it's a right but you would address the diaspora where the diaspora exists in large numbers you'd go to london right or you'd go to birmingham right. Or no, you go to Leicester, uh, is, uh, places where there is a significant uh, Indian diaspora. You would not go. You would not. You would not singularly go to one college in Cambridge, where about thirty to forty maximum students will sit there and listen to you. There's something. Well, uh, there's something wrong, man. Uh, What's uh, happened, Lokesh? What do you have? No, no. Uh, there's something uh, else going. Mr. Rahul Gandhi is an alumni uh, from the University of Cambridge. We all know that. Secondly. when i'm talking about indian overseas congress the general functioning has been that it carries out series of events in 2022 also when mr rahul gandhi went he delivered series of lectures not just in one university alone sorry do so not it compare is, it to 2022 in 2022 is, cambridge madam, please, itself allow me to complete, about rahul gandhi visit please allow this me to complete this was a clandestine event madam you are an editor of op india Jeran not a bjp panelist allow me to put forth you are making news, a false please. equivalence look eshwan said no, you are making a false equivalence i'm just correcting you madam do not no, compare no, it allow me to at least put forth my views yeah for example yeah. when you have indians living in dubai or uk us generally reaching out to them involves a series of gatherings reaching out to them listening to them because indian diaspora does play a major role in domestic politics as well they are as much connected to domestic politics as we have indians living in india so the very uh, equivalence Wait, that was drawn was by my that was making uh, jive prime minister that Modi saying that indians he's in more india interested in the diaspora than abroad, indian people living all and now he leaves lakhs of indians and goes to in address fact, 20 students and congress lies about it saying that it's a mission invite when it was not he is aiming at reaching out to every bharatiya whether he is staying in india or abroad now this is something that must be appreciated so i i do not see everything uh, suspiciously so why so then why did congress not appreciate prime minister modi lokesh lokesh, lokesh i repeat i am being honest about lokesh, it lokesh lokesh i'll tell you one thing lokesh mood mood point 
Moot point, moot point. Why say, why lie? If you have not been invited by Cambridge University, if you have not been invited Look, by the Cambridge Rahul University College, why point. claim? Why Rahul claim, Gandhi, no, no, the university has invited? Rahul Gandhi's foreign visits why make the claim? have been problematic. Well, he uh, has no, met anti India uh, well, elements, he has met ISI plans, so he has gone time. abroad and said that Hindus are a bigger problem than Islamic terrorism. No, no, no. His foreign visits have been a problem. He was has collaborated with the Labour Party. No, in so the UK, no put the question that emerges is was this, that was this was this was the India. Cambridge University name No no was the was the Cambridge University name used as a cover? That's the point. Lokesh so can I, was can it I used cover? as a cover no, to do Madam, something else? Uh, well, uh, the manner in which you are passionately uh, questioning and objecting to Rahul Gandhi shows a degree of prejudice and some form of a uh, some form of a bias. And I do not believe that the investigation that you carried out was absolutely neutral, because when a leader he is reaching Let out to Indian diaspora, Madam, please allow I me to complete. Madam, please, if you, if you continue now to interject, we will not be able to debate. Me. Let me answer if and then you can carry on. One like second, this, okay? You question me. With all due respect, you question me. Let give me the respect. give me the right to answer, and then you can go ahead. There's no problem. Op India. May I please? As far May as I? my bias is concerned, no, no, no. You have questioned me, look. Let me answer, and then you can carry on. I'll keep. That I have not policy. even completed it. You are not even as allowing me to speak. My, no, no. That's a. You raised the question on my integrity. Let me complete and let me clarify. You have said that there is an element of bias in my reportage. There is no element of bias in the report itself because it's the college. It's a college that has said that we haven't done any financing. We haven't hosted Rahul Gandhi. It was a commercial event. This is not a figment of our imagination. One, I have a general bias against leaders, against politicians who are overall moronic and who overall lie and who overall try to divide the nation as far as you know, North South is concerned, caste line is concerned, religion is concerned. Religion. Um, it, one second, religion, please, let me finish. Religion is he concerned. has tried to divide the nation, trying oh, okay. to manipulate every okay. imaginary fault line that he can get. I okay, have, I have to give him a 20 second rebut uh, because, uh, because. Who are overall moronic. Yeah. Uh, who are yeah. overall moronic. So this is very, very entertaining. This, no more, by the way, more, more people are watching this now. Artificial you know? intelligence, almost like a malfunctioning robot <laughs> himself because he talks rubbish. So, um, yes, I do have a bias against Rahul Gandhi anyway, because now, I think now. he's a moron. <laughs> no, I, Congress I'd Party say this. is a bigger moron Lokesh, because Lokesh, they're Lokesh, 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 you've got to issue a clarification. I think Congress should clarify this. What was it up to? So yes, I do have I'm a bias. Not, can I, can, yes, can I, I, madam? Can I, can I, may I please, with you, with due permission from you? Why did Congress lie about this? Can, can I, can I answer you? May okay, I, quickly, please? Quickly. Yes, you if you do. The question is, why did Congress lie? Not the fact that I have a bias against morons. Well, first of all, ma'am, there is no lying. Uh, we are very clear right from the onset when the Bharat Jodo Yatra was initiated, our sole objective that has been the approach be that has been okay. the message that has this been is not conveyed, an election campaign. the Why methodology did that lie has been adopted, a Cambridge invite everything when has been invited. Madam, again, you're not not interjecting. The moron. That's Madam, a simple again question. you're interjecting. Okay, listen, I, I know I know you're complete. both going to keep your positions, but I've run out of time. Location Nupur, Location Nupur, trending story of the day, the Op India report on Rahul Gandhi's mystery. If Cambridge University didn't invite him, what did he go there for? We track that on Op India. Viewers, now I thank you very much. We're gonna we're gonna track this more tomorrow, Nupur. We're gonna find out more about this. Viewers, I'll see you tomorrow. Sharp at night. Good night and goodbye.